Welcome everyone to today's webinar, COVID-19 Protocol Deviations, Documenting, Managing, and Reporting. My name is Marla Helley, and I'll be leading today's webinar training. Before we get started, I would like to thank each of you for attending today's webinar. It means so much to me and Barnett International that you have taken time out of your busy schedule to attend today's training session. I, along with the entire Barnett International team, wish you and your families and communities and the patients that you serve continued health during this difficult time that COVID-19 has impacted so many. I did provide two handouts for today's webinar along with your slides. You have received those, and I will be referencing these documents during the course of today's webinar. I also would recommend that you read, especially this new FDA guidance that has been released as well. At the completion of today's course, you should be able to identify the importance of documentation of protocol deviations related to COVID-19. You should also be able to describe the importance and the methods of communication to the IRB regarding protocol deviations as they relate to COVID-19, as well as identify when changes to the protocol without IRB approval or before an amendment are permitted during the COVID-19 pandemic, and lastly, describe sponsor recommendations for an explanation of missing data due to COVID-19. So let's just take a step back and look at some introduction regarding prior to COVID-19 and protocol deviation. We know that the principles of good clinical practice remain, and they continue as we manage our patients or subjects in clinical trials. We know that the right safety and well-being of trial subjects are the most important consideration and they should prevail over the interests of science and society. So right now, we really are wanting to ensure that our patients are protected. And this can be difficult because we also have patients that are coming in to clinical trials. So now we have to balance this risk-benefit. Of course, the risk, could you be exposed to the virus? COVID-19, and then the benefit of receiving an investigational product that is helping with your particular disease or ailment that one is receiving while being on the investigational drug. Also, we know that all trial information should be recorded, handled, and stored in a way that allows for it accurate reporting. And this is going to be important when we look at documentation occurring during protocol deviation, as well as interpretation verification. And this applies to all records referenced in this guideline. So I'm going back to ICH E6 GCP, and they're stating that this is important. So we have to look at these basic principles of good clinical practice because those are our guiding foundations that we follow as research professionals. If we look at protocol deviations before COVID-19, we know that deviations are part of life. And we really want to make sure that deviations are not something that are going to be part of practice. Now, we have to look at what we're dealing with with COVID-19. Suddenly, things have changed. Patients may not be coming in to our clinic because we're wanting to eliminate that risk. So we're going to look at this today. We also realize that protocol deviations may significantly impact the subject's rights, safety, and well-being. So, if we make a deviation from the protocol, this could cause potential harm. This is important, especially now, 
because we have to look at how do we manage our subjects that are receiving drugs during COVID-19. How do we ensure their safety? Also, this can impact our data reliability and integrity. 